Airbnb properties in the same city, same size, same amenities. Yet one is making bank while the other can barely get booked. Why? The answer, submarket analysis. Today, I'm going to show you how to use data to find the most profitable neighborhoods for your next short-term rental investment. Hey, I'm Dustin, and we're here to break down short-term rental investing with data-driven insights. If you're serious about making smart STR investments, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We bring you the best strategies and data to maximize your rental income. Today, we're diving into STR submarket analysis, the key to pinpointing high profit neighborhoods within a market. Stick around because I'll show you a real world example in Coachella Valley that might surprise you. Number one, what is an STR submarket? Think of a market as a whole pie and submarkets as individual slices. Each slice has unique demand, pricing trends, and guest preferences that can make or break your Airbnb business. Number two, why does submarket analysis matter? Let's take Austin, Texas. The citywide occupancy rate is 50%, but zoom in and you'll find Lamp Light Village at 60% and Northwest Hills at 38%. A 22% gap means tens of thousands of dollars in lost revenue if you pick the wrong area. Number three, how to use Air DNA for STR submarket analysis. Now, let's break this down step-by-step step using Coachella Valley, California, one of the most competitive STR markets. Step one. Navigate to Market Overview. Find your target city by locating it on the map or typing it into the search bar. Step two, identifying submarkets. Coachella Valley has 12 distinct submarkets. Step three, review market scores. The Coachella submarket score is a perfect 100, while Rancho Mirage, just three. Number four, finding the most profitable STR properties. Here's where things get interesting. By filtering for one to two bedroom budget rentals in Indian Wells, the occupancy rate jumps from 48% to 56%, while the average daily rate drops from $687 to $213. This filtered view shows that even within the same area, different types of rentals can perform very differently. On the other hand, if you're going for luxury, four plus bedroom rentals, Cathedral City has the highest occupancy at 59%, while Coachella has an impressive $610 ADR, but lower occupancy. Your decision will depend on whether you want steady bookings or big ticket nightly rates. Number five, using for sale properties to spot deals. Once you've picked a submarket, the real gold mine is analyzing properties for sale. Let's compare two investment properties. Palm Desert, four plus bedroom homes, 300,000 to $1 million price range, 5.4% gross yield. Okay. Palm Springs, same criteria, 15.7% gross yield. That difference could mean an extra tens of thousands of dollars per year in your pocket. And this is why submarket research is non-negotiable for serious STR investors. What's your biggest STR investment challenge? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're enjoying this breakdown, hit the like button. It really helps the channel. So let's recap. A market-wide market view isn't enough. If you want to beat the competition, you need to drill down into submarkets to find the best investment opportunities. With tools like AirDNA, you can compare occupancy, ADR, and revenue potential to make data-backed decisions. If you're ready to level up your STR investments, check out our Investor's Guide to Short-Term Rental Market Analysis. The link's in the description. And don't forget to subscribe for more STR insights every week. I'll see you in the next video.